there are so many people within the gaming industry that absolutely hate gamers' guts and want us to drop off the face of this earth, and now a senior writer for the upcoming Black Panther game has said she wants a shirt that claims most gamers are bigots. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, words like bigots, ists, phobes, they really don't hold a lot of power anymore because these types of people constantly spew them at individuals they simply don't like, and that is exactly what is going on a lot in the industry right now, and specifically with this individual. So Alexa Ray, a senior writer on the upcoming Marvel's Black Panther game being developed by Cliffhanger Games, shared her desire for a t-shirt that claims most gamers are bigots. Now, I'm sure she's probably going to try to damage control at some point and say, ha ha, this was supposed to be a joke, but it's clearly not. This is definitely how she and the people she was responding to feel because Corinna made her desire known while responding to a post written by none other than Kotaku senior editor Alyssa Mercante, somebody who has been extremely vocal over the years about her hatred for gamers and people she disagrees with politically. Basically, if you are not with her, you are against her and she will attack anyone and everyone. She'll spew hatred towards you. She'll block block you. She blockchains. She threatens people. I mean, Alyssa does all of it. Um, but she had initially made a post saying, I don't support all gamers. Most of you are bigots, which is something that she said many times. She thinks that the majority of gamers are absolutely disgusting human beings when she really should just look in a mirror. But Alexa here actually decided to respond with need this on a shirt. These people absolutely hate us, and yet they still expect us to swipe our credit cards on the games they're making. And then if their games are predicted to flop, they say, oh, well, that's okay because we would rather our game be a failure than be supported by a bunch of racists and sexists and bigots. That's not how you hold a job. And with this upcoming Black Panther game, I'm sure that, yes, it is going to sell at least decent, right? Because there are so many Marvel fans out there. But on the flip side, we've seen games that were supposed to be absolute behemoths completely flop because gamers are willing to speak with their wallets. Like Star Wars Outlaws, for example, it looked buggy. It looked broken. People were concerned about the DEI. We, of course, had writers coming out and attacking us. And look at how that ended up. It was a complete disaster. Word on the street is that it only sold a million copies when this was a game Ubisoft really expected to do amazing. I mean, it had the largest marketing budget they've ever put towards a game. And it apparently only sold a million copies when you look at games like Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order that were not even released that long ago. And those both combined sold upwards of 15 million copies. Like Star Wars Outlaws couldn't even touch that. And that is the power of gamers. We are not going to support products made by people that either hate our guts or by companies that are trying to sell us mediocre experiences that are not worth a price tag like 70 freaking dollars. And when I see an individual coming out talking about how they don't support all gamers, most of you are bigots, and we need this on a t-shirt. First of all, I just point and laugh, right? Because these words do not hold any meaning anymore. These individuals take to social media and call us everything under the sun. It really doesn't bother me anymore. It's honestly turned into quite a meme, but it also just proves that these people are so pathetic that they have nothing better to do. And of course, Alyssa tried to say, oh, it's a meme format and you guys are just stupid when in reality, this is not a meme format. She just wanted to voice her hatred and she's acting extremely unprofessional. Not that that's anything shocking for Alyssa. That's just another day that ends in a Y. But, um, Alexa is actually the latest red flag for the upcoming Black Panther game, and she's not the only one. The game made headlines earlier this year when it was discovered that Cliffhanger Games hired former Sweet Baby Inc. employees who admitted to discriminating against white people during a presentation for the Game Devs of Color Expo in 2021. In the presentation, Lalander states, Validate has a team of all people of color. We have no white people on our team. I did 
that because I wanted to create a safe environment and I know the best way for the environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. And I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying sometimes that it's hard to work with white people because they think that something may be okay, but it really might be a microaggression and no one wants to deal with that while you're trying to make a game that they love. So yes, straight up racism. These people say, we can't be racist against white people when you most certainly can be. And I don't think that this Black Panther game is going to go over particularly well with gamers judging by how people are boycotting Sweet Baby in games. And even though we do not, as far as we know, believe that Sweet Baby Inc. is directly affiliated with this Black Panther game. We are seeing, you know, ex-employees being hired for this project. That's going to be enough to get people to, you know, boycott it. And now we have senior writers for the game saying they want shirts that claim most gamers are bigots and they're, you know, casually chatting with people like Alyssa Mercante. And right now, the state of superhero games are not even in the best place. It's not even just Black Panther. I mean, I've talked about this in other videos, but a senior writer for the upcoming Wonder Woman game attempted to boycott Hogwarts Legacy. And apparently she you know, is behind the scenes causing quite a bit of chaos. We know that it's reportedly in trouble and the studio behind it, Monolith Productions, could even be shut down. So things are just not going well for, you know, superhero games in totality. They are hiring people for these projects who do not care about the source material. They're simply hiring activists and that is not going to sit well with a lot of people and it's going to lead to lower sales. A hundred percent gamers are more than willing to speak with their wallets. We're seeing it happen so so frequently now. And these companies are going to have to realize that hiring these activists, these radical leftists, is not a winning strategy and it's not going to gain them more sales. And by creating content, of course, for modern audiences that have specific narratives shoved into them and are watered down, it's not going to lead to success. So of course, I will continue to keep my eye on this, but we've got the senior writer for the upcoming Black Panther game spewing hatred towards gamers with Alyssa Mercante claiming they want shirts that say most gamers or bigots. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.